Hey guys, Brony General here, back with another video, and uh, today I'm here to do, well, this evening, I'm here to do a video in depth on Grandpa's 1989 Dodge Ram D100. Now, this truck is a base model, there aren't really many options. It does have a Viper alarm system with a disconnected horn, because it's annoying and we don't like it. Pop the hood here. And I'll leave the door open so the alarm system doesn't rearm itself. Or it's just going to close itself. Okay. That works too, I guess. <coughs> Heavy ass hood. 318. Fuel injected. Pretty clean under here. All things considered. 48,000 original miles. And, uh,. Original paint, by the way. So that's a very nice little thing there. Got the original fender right here. It's uh, kind of banged up. We're going to get it fixed one of these days, though. Yeah. As you can see, very clean on the interior. Uh, no cracks in the dash whatsoever. Carpet is very, 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 very pristine. Uh, factory original radio. No tape deck, nothing. This is just a basic truck. Got a dash cover for it. Doesn't quite match, but that's okay. Starts right up. As you can see, making basically no noise. We go down to the exhaust here. This truck is silent as a, well, silent can be. It smells wonderful back here, by the way. <laughs> I'm gonna go in the truck and give it a couple revs, just so you can get a feel for what the stock exhaust sounds like. Smell the gas mileage. Long bed. It's got the stock Chrysler C wheels on it still. It actually did have hubcaps on it, but those went on my truck because uh, my truck's more complete than this is at this point. Grandpa wants to get some custom wheels for it anyway. Fender does not quite line up to the truck. It is off, I believe, a 1990 model. And uh, apparently those are different. I'll close the hood here. Ram hood ornament. Fun little option. As far as what's you know actually in the interior, it's pretty much just basic Dodge in here, it's bone stock does have cool blowing AC. Blows very cold, actually. Great for the summertime. Smoker windows. You know, these are great. This, this truck rides great. It runs great. It's just a great overall vehicle. Got yourself a damn bright cargo light back here. Works real, real well. Uh, turn that off. Floor mats, I think they came stock with the truck. I could be wrong. Glove box in good shape. Door panels look brand frickin' new. Even the armrest, they, they look brand brand new. 
And like I said, 48,000 original miles, this truck's barely broke in at this point because in Chrysler 318, they run forever. These trucks are very well built. They're not plastic. And this particular one is unbelievably cherry. Other than that front bumper and the fender, which was a recent accident, this truck is just about perfect. But yeah, this is Grandpa's daily car. He drives this thing to like the grocery store and to like go get breakfast. So I mean, you know, it, it, it gets driven. It just doesn't get driven very hard because my grandpa's 84. I drive it to school on occasion too because you know, sometimes I just feel like driving it. My Dakota looks real nice next to it and vice versa. I mean, after all, this is basically just my truck's big brother. They're both base models. They're both red, same shade of red even. Both have maroon interiors. Both have the same steering wheel, same factory stereo, even though mine doesn't have it anymore, but I know it came with the same one. Same stock hub caps. Like I said, I just swapped them from this truck to this one. You know, same era. This They're only a year apart, less than a year apart, because this one was made in late 89. This one was made in early 90. So realistically, these are both 90s. Just This one was made in 89, probably sold in 90, though. As far as which one gets driven more, my truck gets driven basically every day. I, I, I drive it to school in the morning. I drive it all over town. It's you know This is my daily driver. This truck, on the other hand, it's like Grandpa doesn't drive that much. He's, he really just doesn't leave the house all that much. So this truck is not going to have mileage racking up very fast. Though it probably will end up being taken on a lot of trips because it's comfortable and it rides nice and it's quiet. So it's actually really good for long road trips. So it'll probably see a lot of open highway miles, but not that many city miles. But yeah, that's Grandpa's 1989 Dodge Ram D100, base model, long bed, 318, single cab. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. And uh, yeah, beautiful Dodge truck.